Let's get right to it. Police say it is the largest marijuana grow lab they have seen in a quarter century. Pot plant after pot plant carried out today from a hidden operation. Good evening, Pittsburgh. I'm Wendy Bell. I'm Andrew Stocky. And wait till you hear how that secret drug lab was uncovered in West Pittsburgh's central Lawrenceville neighborhood. That's where we find Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter, Bob Mayo. Lawrenceville's a neighborhood with a reputation for a strong citizen crime watch. Well, someone saw something suspicious in this alley here. Police arrived to find burglars with bags full of marijuana. That led them to the second floor of this building. Take a look at what they found inside. Bags upon bags, plants upon plants, plus chemicals. Lawrenceville neighbors are shocked to learn a major sophisticated marijuana growing lab was running out of the second floor above a vending service company at Davison Street and Urbana Way. And my children play on these streets and it, it's just it's scary. It's, you know, who do these sound to? The kids? You know, that, I don't like it. Federal DEA agents joined Pittsburgh police in taking down this operation, safely taking in all of this marijuana lab evidence. Some officers on this scene have told me this is the largest marijuana grow lab that they have seen in 25 years. And we are estimating somewhere in the upward numbers of 300 plants will pull out of this building today. Neighbors say they'd never guessed their streets were hiding the biggest marijuana operation in Pittsburgh since George Bush Sr. was president and Sophie Maslow started her first full term as mayor. Right under our nose. I mean, absolutely, uh, you know, this is a sleepy part of Lawrenceville. Um, and 25 years, that's, that's amazing. Um, I had no idea. Neighbors called 911 when they saw burglars breaking in here. It turns out they were stealing marijuana by the trash bags full. That led police to this bold drug lab. Yeah, bold's the correct word. It's to do it above a business is bold. Police are not publicly identifying any suspects or saying if there are any arrests yet on the operation of the Grow Lab. We've tried to reach the owner of the building who also owns the ground floor business for comment. Not been available to comment on what possibly a tenant may have been up to upstairs. Reporting live in central Lawrenceville. Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.